make very brief remarks. Let me just uh, assist my uh, cabinet secretary with some housekeeping manenos. Uh, I am not a very good mathematician, but being a scientist, I know something about math. When I uh, looked at the composition of the committee, it was clear to me that it was unconstitutional because it lacked the uh, gender balance. There are only four women out of a whole committee of 20. I uh, respectfully suggest, uh, Mr. Minister, that you either reduce the number of men or you add the number of women so that it is constitutional. Um, I think we, we, it, it's time we begin to live on the, in accordance with the principles of the Constitution without paying lip service. It is my pleasure to congratulate the Chairman, uh, Mr. Uko, and the Vice Chair, and the members of the Pending Bills Verification Committee for your appointment. As you are all aware, when I took office, I committed to bring the matter of public sector pending bills to a speedy and conclusive resolution. As we are all aware again, the last time there was an effort to alleviate this challenge of pending bills was about 17 years ago. It is yet another moment in our history that we need to clean our slate and do justice to everybody especially the people who do business with government, and more particularly, the micro, small, and medium enterprises that are the largest suppliers of government, who today, our stock of pending bills is all the way to above 600 billion. That is the money government at various levels or our suppliers, many, I think almost 100% Kenyan, but many of them also uh, small businesses. The government is therefore committed to meeting its obligation as and when they fall due as a matter of policy and legal obligation. Besides a culture of overdue pending bills, it serves no purpose other than to drive business into ruin, force micro, small, and medium enterprises to shut down, and increase unemployment leading to general underperformance in our economy. It is the duty of government to facilitate better economic performance through expeditious resolution of government expenditures, reduce pending bills, and restore confidence of suppliers and other stakeholders. This will generate hope to our great men and women who have ventured into the micro, small, and medium enterprise space and desire to provide efficient, effective services and goods to government. The government promised creditors that we shall advise them on the mechanism for the resolution of genuine outstanding payments. We have therefore constituted this committee as promised, and this is a clear demonstration that we are committed to settling verified pending bills owed by government within the shortest time possible. It is my understanding, Minister, and your team from Treasury, that this team has an up to June next year, which is just under a year to discharge this responsibility. I was um, encouraged further when the chair, Mr. Uko, said that you have a cumulative experience of 300 years. That means that uh, this is uh, going to be a job that you can discharge pretty fast. So um, I am looking forward to the speedy resolution of this subject so that we can account for the resources that have been spent, and we can pay our bills. I am 
even more confident that with Mr. Uko, who uh, has been telling us in his other life which bills are payable, which ones are not payable, who has done what and who has not done what. Now, I am very confident that no bill that is not worth paying for will be, will be, will be paid for. Because, uh, Mr. Uko, in your other life, you are uh, very keen and you wrote many reports on who should not be paid because they did not uh, meet the required uh, status of payment. So I believe that with all the people in that team, uh, I see many former PSS, people who are knowledgeable in government operations, people who are knowledgeable on government procurement, uh, and, and all the other people in that team. So I am very confident that we have the right team, save for the small matter of gender. We have the right team to deliver on this uh, promise, and I hope that other matter the minister is going to correct. Um, it is on this understanding that the Pending Bills Verification Committee has been established to advise on the most effective and efficient way of reducing the pain experienced by suppliers. And I'm aware that some have had their property auctioned and are being pursued, some of them by creditors, some have even ended up in difficult uh, medical conditions, and many other things. This subject of pending bills is good for nobody. It is not good for our suppliers because it impoverishes them. It is not good for government because it increases our debt and complicates our budget making process. So the sooner we resolve this matter, the better for everybody. The better for our economy, the better for our suppliers, the better for those who are planning our budget, and the better for us and our management of our debt uh, burden as a, as a country. So it is the right thing to do at this point in time. And so let me say for the avoidance of doubt that this committee is very important to us as an administration. It's a commitment that we made. And we have, and I'm happy the minister has identified a, a knowledgeable, credible team with sufficient experience to undertake this important exercise. As I have told you, there is already a pending bill out there, owed by government, both at both levels, at the national and county, with all parastatals and all the other auxiliary bodies of close to 640 billion. That is a huge amount of money on either side, to suppliers and also on the government books. And therefore, it is important for us to resolve this matter. And we can then predict our future much more accurately. It is also the reason that we are having a supplementary budget in Parliament. We have made a commitment as an administration that we are going to start with this year. Even as we look on last year, the year before, all the way to 2005, we are going to start with this year. And we have sent to Parliament an adjustment to the budget so that the pending bills that would have come into this year are sorted out and 77 billion odd of pending bills, we have instructed that they be subsumed into this year's budget. And it becomes the first charge of every ministry, every department, and I want to say it should be the case for every county government so that we can deal with pending bills as a matter of course, not wait until they impoverish people, they cause complications in our budget, and they load us with so much debt. It is therefore expected, Mr. Ukon team, that within the shortest time possible, you will be able to provide a clear framework for the resolution of the pending bills owed by government, as well as make concrete recommendations 
on which claims are payable having attained, ascertained that goods and services were delivered to government. The government will ensure there is a complete stop to the accumulation of pending bills given their adverse effects on the economy, the private sector, and even more severely on our micro, small, and medium enterprises and government suppliers. It is my expectation that this committee will analyze and scrutinize thoroughly any pending bills claim submitted before making recommendations for payment, including adherence to the provision of the law. I am also well aware that there may be a few cases in which the government consumed goods and services, but the documentation is not complete. It is this, in this case, the government will rely on your recommendations to resolve such complex disputes in a fair and just manner to facilitate and instill confidence in government and in the economy. It will be the responsibility of the claimants to submit their claims to your committee. In addition, the committee should put the owners of proof vis-a-vis the veracity of the pending bills on the individual contractors and their consultants and the people on their side. In undertaking its mandate, the Pending Bills Verification Committee is urged to take into consideration challenges identified in the reports of previous committees on verification of pending bills and apply them appropriately for speedy resolution. And I am very clear in my mind that uh, this is an, a national exercise of very significant importance and we are looking to these very able Kenyans and team identified by the Ministry of uh, Finance to work on uh, this uh, very noble but necessary and important assignment to get Kenya on the right footing so that we know what we owe and we can then design how we are going to pay and alleviate the challenges that have bedeviled many enterprises, suppliers, and uh, uh, many people who have done business with government. Um, government must lead the way in facilitating business. And part of facilitating business is paying our dues when they are due. Or, being, or uh, getting our, uh, our obligations, managing our obligations, and paying when it is due for us to pay. And that is why we have said that beginning this year, we are sending back the budget so that pending bills become a fast charge and we don't transfer one year's pending bills to the next. We sort them out before so that we avoid this uh, accumulation. And I expect the National Treasury and all the other agencies to make sure that this is done. This morning, I had an engagement with members of parliament on all the other interventions, the change that we are proposing on the PFM uh, uh, law so that also we can manage public debt in a context that is understood and in a context that every stakeholder is brought on board. We've also, uh, we are also proposing to change the PFM law to also take care of multi-year projects that have for a long time caused a lot of complication because one year's budget is, uh, is factored in without thinking about what's going to happen next year. Now, that is going to, all of it is going to be captured so that we can manage our expectations, we can manage our budget, and much more importantly, we can manage our public debt because we don't want to be in the situation that we are now again. And for us to avoid being where we are today is to make sure that uh, we plan ourselves appropriately. With these few remarks, I now declare this pending bills verification committee officially inaugurated and wish you all the best as you settle down uh, to work for our nation. Asante
Thank you very much, Your Excellency. There was a request for a photograph with the committee. So with your kind indulgence, we could